This is part two of my what sold video from last week. And the reason for that is because I had such a great week, which rarely happens, that I had to split up my what sold video into two parts because otherwise this would be like three hours long. So if you want to see what sold from Thursday, the, what is it, the 13th through Sunday the 16th, then stay tuned. Won't nobody love you the way they should Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck All Hey everyone, my name is Becky Park and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari and I'm currently sitting in my car, if you couldn't tell I have a choir concert in like an hour and 15 minutes and before I just wanted to hurry up and film this video and I can't do it at school because it's like crawling with kids who have nowhere else to be so I'm just going to try to get this done as quickly as I can here and then I'm gonna go have a wonderful choir concert hopefully but yeah so last week I had a wonderful sales week and the reason I had such great sales is because I sent out offers to likers on every single item in my Poshmark closet and I also ran a 50% off sale in my Poshmark closet and eBay store so if you want to learn more tips on like the kinds of things that I did to make you know the offers to likers thing really successful as well as the 50% off sale in my Poshmark closet and eBay store I will have a video about that coming out too. So if you really want to know when that video is coming out, make sure that you hit that bell notification so that you are alerted when that video comes out because that's how you know when I upload new content. So without further ado, let's get into what's sold because there is a lot for this video as well. So we are going to start with Thursday, February 13th. Thursday was like basically the first full day that I opened up my 50% off sale just on Poshmark to people who followed me on Instagram as well as on YouTube. And so I didn't start my 50% off sale on eBay until the day after. And I also didn't create like an actual listing for my sale until the day after as well in Poshmark. So this is all just like 50% off stuff that came primarily from people who follow me on Instagram and YouTube. And we're gonna start with a viewer sale. This went out to Courtney. So Courtney, thank you so much. She got this sweater by 888, that's the brand. I had never heard of it before, but they sell this at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, that kind of stuff. And it was this gray sweater in a size 1X. That came from my friend Keto, who you all know is my friend who lost a ton of weight on the Keto diet. Her name's not actually Keto, I'm just calling her that for the sake of these videos so that you know I can shorten what I call her by. But the next thing to sell was actually a boutique item and it was this new with tags vegan leather color blocked crossbody purse it was just really cute had like tassel zippers and i do have a bunch more of these so if you're interested in any hit up my poshmark closet let me know these i did get from my friend who sells wholesale and i have them in the boutique section of my poshmark closet so for these two items the 50 percent off price was 31 dollars, and i made 24 dollars and 80 cents so courtney thank you so much the next thing to sell also went to a viewer and her name is Angie. So Angie, thank you. And she already sent me a love note on this and said that she loved it, but it was this lucky brand teddy bear faux fur ruby jacket in a size extra large guess who this came from it also came from keto but this i received 49 dollars for i did have it priced pretty high but that's because like there were some comps that showed it could sell you know in that like 90 to 100 dollar range and then some had sold for less than that as well but and you got it for 49 which is a great deal and so i made 39 dollars and 20 cents off of that sale this person got a new with tags the limited black lace overlay pencil skirt in a size four i don't know where this came from i kind of want to say that i got it for free from a friend but i could have picked it up at like a goodwill a long time ago regardless it has been in my closet for a very long time and this is the kind of stuff i was hoping to move with this sale is stuff that's been in my closet for over a year so i was thrilled when this sold so this sold for 16 this was not part of my $50 sale. This was an offer that was higher than, you know, 50% off, but I was really excited to see it. So I took it and I made $12 and 80 cents. And I do believe that because I was so active on the Poshmark app, you know, sending out offers to likers, sharing my closet as much as I humanly could. I think that because of that, I also got, you know, some other offers on items that people didn't know I was running a sale or anything like that. They just were in my closet because I was so active on the app. So that's definitely one benefit too, I think, of you know sending out offers to likers on everything or running a sale, just being super active. It really brings more traffic to your closet in general. The next item to sell also was not a viewer sale, just someone sent me an offer and it was on this pair of Bonobos tailored flat front chino pants in a size 30 by 30. They were in this weird like kind of tan color, but like 
tannish yellow. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. These, I believe I picked up at the bins. I don't know. I got them really recently. And this person sent me an offer for $28. So I made $22 and 40 cents off of that sale. The next bundle did go to a viewer named Kelly. So Kelly, thank you so much. She got a bunch of items in my four for $25 sale. So the first item was this White House Black Market Lavender Ruched three-fourth sleeve shirt in a size extra small. It was very lightweight, kind of like longer, like almost tunic length. And this came to me from a friend at church. The next item was also in my four for $25 sale. And it was this pair of J. Crew Factory Coral Broken in Chino shorts in a size two. I went through a phase where I like picked up all the Chino shorts from G from J. Crew, but honestly, I don't think I'm going to pick them up anymore because it's hard to get more than like $10 for them and they're just not really worth my time. And then the next thing to sell was from Loft and it was this coral cotton keyhole tank with tassels in a size extra small petite. This I remember getting at a Goodwill a long time ago, probably like two summers ago or something like that. I mean, I think it's really cute. I just think, again, I think I said this in last week's video, things like tanks and stuff, you're not gonna be able to make a lot of money off of because even in the store, they're pretty cheap. So even though this is cute and it's not necessarily just like a basic tank, it, it was definitely in my closet for a very long time. So those three items sold for $19 and I made $15.20. Next up, this also sold to a viewer and this went to Amanda. So she got this cabbie trident sweater. It was like this high-low tunic, open knit, in a size small, really gorgeous piece. I believe I picked that up at a Goodwill maybe like half a year ago. So I have been sitting on that for quite some time, but I really like this piece and I'm happy that it went to a great home. And then the last piece that she picked up was in my four for $25 sale. It was the brand Ark & Co. And it was this mint crochet lace floral mini dress in a size small. Ark & Co. makes some really cute pieces. They do not resell for a lot. Like, I don't remember where they're from. I want to say from like maybe a Southern department store, maybe like Belk or something. But I don't know. Like, it just doesn't move for a lot. It doesn't get like a whole lot of attention in my Poshmark closet. This I picked up at a Plato's Closet 90% off clearance sale, maybe like two or three sales ago. So again, I've had this for quite some time and I thought it was gorgeous, but yeah, just didn't move until the sale. So I sold those two items to Amanda for $23 and I made $18 and 40 cents. So Amanda, thank you so much. And I hope you love everything. The next bundle sold to Marissa. So Marissa, thank you. And she got two items from keto the first item that marissa picked up was this mossimo which is just a target brand black and gray tweed wool blend pea coat in a size large and they have these big metallic buttons like up you know, up the front. Really cute. This came from my friend Keto. The second item I picked up at Goodwill not too long ago, and I will link that haul video right here, but it was by the brand Tarte, which I'm still not sure like where this brand is sold, but it was this gray tweed one button lapel blazer in a size extra large. So you can see that Marissa really likes her tweed. I do too. I think tweed is so classic. And then the final thing that she picked up was actually a Ross clearance retail arbitrage find i you know people had all these crazy hauls on instagram and on youtube of stuff that they picked up at ross for like 49 cents or like three dollars when i went to my ross they had nothing <laughs> like i found this one kate spade sweater and it was still like 50 dollars. and i don't know like they just didn't have anything for resale but i did find a couple things this being one of them it was this pair of new sam edelman velvet teal collexa booties in a size 8m i thought that these were really pretty i think i picked them up for like six or seven dollars at the ross yellow tag sale not amazing compared to what some other people were able to find but you get what you get and you don't throw a fit right so this bundle sold to marissa for 62 dollars unfortunately everything was so heavy so i did have to pay for additional shipping and what i did was instead of paying for additional shipping through poshmark which is really expensive i went through pirate ship so i think i pulled the tart blazer and i sent that out in a padded flat rate envelope and that was cheaper than me going through poshmark and adding the additional two pounds and that way too like i could still give her a tracking number and she would still be able to you know there was still insurance on the package so that was the route that i decided to take so i should have made 49 dollars and 60 cents off of that bundle but instead i made 41 dollars and 85 cents but that's okay because they're all going to a new awesome home the next item to sell did go to a viewer named Lori 
Lori. So Lori, thank you. And it was this pair of new with tags, 1822 denim. I've never heard of this brand before and I don't think I've seen it since, but it's their butter denim, navy Bermuda shorts in a size six. Those were listed for 18. She got them for nine and I made $6 and five cents. Those were given to me for free by a friend at church. So I made $6 and five cents of pure profit off of those. So Lori, thank you so much. And thank you to my friend from church. She gave me so much clothes and I'm still selling a lot of them. And then on eBay on February 13th, these were just like normal sales. These had nothing to do with my 50% off sale or anything like that because I hadn't started it yet. But the first thing to sell was also actually from the Ross Yellow Tag Sale. And it was this pair of new with tags, Prana Sidra Purple Relaxed Fit Yoga Pants in a size small. I personally don't have the best luck with Prana, but I know a lot of people talk about how they do. So I thought I'd give her another shot. And these actually sold, I think, for my full asking price of $31.99. Yeah, that was my full asking price. They did sell via promoted listings. They pay for shipping, so I ended up making $27.73 off of those pair of pants, which was really exciting. The next thing to sell was this Italia Soccer Full Zip Track Jacket. It was a boys' youth large. This I sent out offers to watchers on for $12.90 and I had them pay for shipping so I ended up making nine dollars and 59 cents it ended up costing more to ship out than I had charged them um, but that's okay the issue with this was like there was no brand really on the tag it said like y dot L and I thought that that stood for youth large but I feel like maybe that actually has something to do with the brand because underneath that it said small so the person purchased it and then they messaged me and they were like shoot is this actually a small because my son needs like a youth large and if it is a small that I'm gonna need to return it and I was like oh I <laughs> like not that I was mad at the buyer I was mad at myself because like come on so I actually pulled it out of inventory and I tried it on myself because it definitely did not look like a youth small and in fact I think it's actually like a men's or women's small because it fit me in fact it was kind of loose on me so I messaged the person back and I was like hey like I actually tried it on and it fits me and I'm roughly the size <laughs> of a larger boy like I think she was saying her son wears like a size 12 to 14 and I was like yep that's that's about what I wear <laughs> and so I was like and you know I provide measurements so maybe if you want to try to like compare the measurements of this to the measurements of something that he has at home that fits him really well and I just like kept going on and on and she was like honestly just for the effort like I will just keep them and I hope that they fit him I'm sure that they will thank you so much so that's an example of like going above and beyond for your customer and them really appreciating it so yeah that was I was happy to move that that was from my student's garage sale that we had not too long ago this next item, Lord of mercy. So this I actually talked about on my Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure that you are because you get more of like a behind the scenes look at my reselling journey. It is at Becky Park on Poshmark. But I went thrifting when I was on a conference a couple weekends ago with students and I was at a Goodwill and I wasn't finding much like their clothes were not awesome. So I went through the hard goods section because I'm trying to be better about picking up hard goods. And I found this game and I initially just picked it up for myself because I was like, this is really cool. It was Monopoly, but the office edition. And so I picked it up and I had it in my car. And, you know, a little bit later, I was running comps on the different things that I had ran comps on this these babies were selling for like a hundred dollars used and I was like oh uh, like what what I mean it is really cool but I just never thought that a monopoly game could go for a hundred dollars like knew they were going like 150 125 I think one had sold for like 200 one had sold for like 900 dollars and that's because it was from a restaurant in Scranton PA that is like mentioned on the show so this is a crazy bolo if you ever see one make sure that you pick it up but the crazy thing about it was that someone sent me an offer on this for $60 and I messaged him back and I was like, honestly, like I didn't even mean to put best offer on this because I want the $99 for this. It's going to sell for that much. There had been one other pre-owned listing and that had sold the same day and that one was coming from Hawaii. So shipping on it was like crazy. And so I sent the person that message with a $95 offer and they accepted right away but of course they didn't pay so it's like i waited a full day and then another full day and then another full day and i like sent him messages and you know things like that and finally he messaged me and he was like this is too much like please change the price and i will buy it and i'm like you've already bought it like i'm not going to change the price at this point point." and he's like shipping is too much i think i charged like 12 dollars for shipping because that's what i saw other people were charging and i was like 
I, I'm not changing the price. Like if you, and he's like, well then please cancel. And I was like, I'm not going to cancel on my end because that's going to give me a ding on my account. You can cancel and that's fine. I will relist it and it will sell for my asking price. Like I'm confident of it. So we kept going back and forth and he finally, you know, paid the full amount that he had agreed to. It hasn't been delivered yet. Like I shipped it out, you know, a few days ago. It hasn't been delivered. I'm kind of scared. I'm scared that he's going to just try to return it. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. And hopefully he returns it to me if he does in the same condition. And I'll just relist it and it'll sell because... There are not a lot of listings, but people are looking for these. So yeah, I had him pay for $12 of shipping, but it cost me $17.75 to ship out. So he was getting a bargain when it came to shipping, but I made $82.65 and I shipped that out. USPS actually has like a game board box. So I shipped it out in that and it was perfect because I was able to like wrap the game in um, bubble wrap and I was able to put in a little bit of like craft paper just to make sure that it wouldn't move around and the box would stay intact. That box is really great for sending out big games like that but it was kind of expensive as you can see so making $82.65 after spending $2.99 on the game at Goodwill I'm all about that so you better believe I have my eyes peeled now for the Monopoly office edition it's starting to get dark so I'm gonna like talk faster and faster okay moving on to Valentine's Day which was February 14th this was the first day that I like had my sale going full scale. I had a listing at the top of my Poshmark closet. I put my whole eBay store on 50% off and these are the things that sold. So Jennifer bought this Vineyard Vines hooded long sleeve t-shirt in a size extra small and it had like a spell out of vineyard vines on the sleeve i had this listed for twenty dollars so she got it for ten and i made seven dollars and five cents off of that i got that really recently i want to say at goodwill the next item went to maury so maury maury i don't know how to say your name i'm so sorry but thank you for your order and she got this new with tags h&m divided maxi dress and it was sheer with like a lace black panel on the bottom this was in a size six this, I believe I picked up at a Goodwill. I really can't remember. It's been in my closet for a hot minute, so I don't even know. And then the next thing is this Zara Trafalic eyelet off the shoulder crop top in a size small. This I picked up very recently at the Play-Doh's 90% off clearance sale. So I've only had this listed for like at the most a month, not very long at all. These two items sold to Maury, Maury. I feel like Amy Poehler in that scene in the movie Sisters where she's trying to say the name of the girl doing her nails. Hey one, hey one, no, hey one, hey one, hey one, hey one, hey one. I feel like I'm saying it right. No, Maury, Maury. I don't know, but these two items sold for twenty-one dollars, and I made sixteen dollars and eighty cents. Next, and by the way, I'm just assuming that these bundle sales are going to viewers, but I really don't know. So I'll just say the name. And if you're not a viewer, you're not a viewer and it doesn't matter. But this went to Alicia and she got this Nike running dry fit pullover hoodie with thumb holes in a size small. It was like black and gray. I had gotten it for free from a friend. And then the next item that she got was this Lululemon workout tank with a built-in bra in a size six. This was one of those rare occasions I was on Lulu Fanatics and I could not find the style of this tank. So I just went ahead and listed it. Sold as part of the sale, yes, but it sold within like two or three days of listing it. So if you have Lululemon at home and you don't know what it's called, just list it. Like it's definitely worth it to list it. So those two items sold for $26 and I made $20.80. The next bundle sold to Nate and they got this floral and leaf print kimono. This is part of my boutique section. I get it, you know, from my friend wholesale. So it was a wholesale boutique item. And then the next thing was this bravado guns and roses use your illusion tour t-shirt in a size large. This one I got at the bins when I went with the bin pickers and with hope from racks to riches. And Someone on eBay like messaged me about that shirt and was like, is this a real vintage shirt? And I was like, no, it's, it's by Bravado. Like, I don't think they make vintage shirts. I don't think they were around back then. But these two items sold for $28 and I made $22.40. <sighs> it's getting dark, guys. As you can see, I am at school in my office and I'm in a new outfit because it's new day. It's the next day. It's been crazy. And yeah, it's been hard to find time to just sit down and film. But let's keep going with what sold. So continuing on with Valentine's Day, the next sale on Poshmark 
was to Elise, who I think is a viewer. At this point, I don't know who was a viewer and who was not, but it was this J. Crew chambray two button blazer in a size zero. And I got this at a local thrift store a long time ago, a thrift store that is no longer, you know, here. And I think I paid up for it like five, six, seven dollars. That's what I mean by pay up. And I got it quite a while ago. Like I got it over two years ago. This was definitely towards the beginning of my reselling journey. And so I ended up moving it for four $14, and so I took home $11.05, which is not a lot for an item that I paid up for, but I'm so happy to get this out of my closet because, like I said, I've had it for a while. And then the last bundle to sell on Poshmark on Valentine's Day went to Samantha. So, Samantha, thank you so much. And it was this express striped short sleeve button up shirt in a size extra large for men. This was from my student's garage sale that we did um, quite a bit ago. Anything with like the brick background is from that garage sale. So, I've definitely had this for like at least half a year or something like that so happy to move that the next item was loft and it was like loft plus which i've not seen a whole lot i didn't even know that they carried plus sizes so i guess like their plus size line is loft plus and it was this navy ruffle back printed blouse in a size 16 that came from keto and then the last thing was this coach signature jacquard pink shoulder bag this actually came to me from a friend of mine at work and she sold me like 13 or 14 of her aunt's old coach purses. They did not move as quickly as they thought they would and they definitely did not move for as much as I thought they would. So I don't know that I will be doing like bulk purchases of coach bags from now on. And just in general, it definitely makes me a little bit more weary about picking up coach. I think there are certain styles that do really well, but as a whole, not a brand that I've been really impressed with. But she got these three pieces for $41. And so I made $32.80 off of that bundle. And then on eBay, we had a few sales. The first was the Soft Surroundings Elise Velvet Tie-Dye Pullover in a size extra large. This sold for $18.99. That was 50% off of my asking price. This I picked up at the same time as that other new with tag Soft Surroundings piece that I had talked about. And I kind of feel like it went to the same buyer, maybe. I feel like she was watching both. And, you know, when this went on sale, she snatched it. Maybe not. I could go back and look, but I don't want to. So <laughs> that's my my hypothesis. That one I had her pay for shipping and I ended up making $16.55. The next item to sell on Valentine's Day on eBay was by the brand Page and it was the Kenzie Navy Bell Sleeve Fitted Turtleneck in a size medium. This one sold for $23.99. That was 50% off of my asking price. It did sell via promoted listings and I had to pay a little bit more for shipping than what I had them pay for. I had them pay for $4 of shipping and it cost $4.32 to ship out. So I ended up making $19.75 off of that. I found that at a Goodwill not too long ago. I believe I hauled it in the video that I already linked. I think I ended up paying $4 for that, so turning $4 into $19.75. Not mad about it. The next item to sell was by the brand Kula Bar, and it was this UPF 50 plus UV sun protection dress in this pink color with like a, you know, pretty classic print to it. I believe it was three-fourths sleeves, and it was in a size small. So from my understanding, this is a dress that already has like UPF 50 built into it, almost like you're wearing sunblock, you know, but you don't have to wear sunblock because the protection is in the dress. The annoying thing about this was when I listed it on Poshmark, Poshmark kept being like, you can't list this because you can't sell this kind of product on Poshmark. And I think it was like the UPF 50 that was sending out red flags. But it's not like I was selling sunblock, it's just that it was built into this garment. So on Poshmark, you know, this like warning would come up and they'd be like, you can't sell this stuff. And then you'd have to press a button that said, I'm not, like I'm not selling the prohibited item or whatever. So the item listed, and I actually had three of these dresses. I found three of the same brand, same type of dress, but just like in different prints, but they were all the same size. And I found them at Goodwill all next to each other. And I paid regular price for all of them. I paid $6 for each dress, but I did it because comps were pretty good on eBay. But then on Poshmark, it just, it gave me such a hard time when it came to listing them. And then I like finally got them to list but they never actually like shared. So like when I would share them, it would never actually go to the top of my closet. So I think they just sat there and then eventually they just disappeared. Like they're not even in my Poshmark closet anymore. 
I don't know. It's so annoying. I eventually sold one of them on eBay. I still have two of them. So if you're looking for these sun protection dresses, I've got two more in my eBay store, but this one sold for 50% off at $15.99. And I did have them pay for shipping. So I made $14.08. That was just like a really super annoying experience, but whatever. And then the last thing to sell on eBay, and I think that they sent me an offer based off of my 50% off price, which fine, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> it was this Fila Sport Black Zip Up Performance Jacket in a size large that sold for $12.50. I think that my 50% off price would have been like $13.99, but I was happy to move it at $12.50 and I did have to pay a little bit more for shipping than what I had asked. I had them paying for $5 of shipping, but it actually cost more than a pound. So I put it in a padded flat rate envelope. I ended up making $7.70 off of that, but I was happy to move it because it was in my student's garage sale. So I've had that for, you know, half a year and half of that goes to me and half of it goes to the theater program at my school. Same thing with the express shirt that I talked about earlier. That was all of my sales from Valentine's Day. So moving on to February 15th, which was the Saturday on Poshmark, Lisa picked up this pair of J. Crew utility camo chino pants in a size two. These sold for $17 and I made $13.60 off of those. And those were a recent pickup, although at this point I don't remember <laughs> where I got them, when I got them. I just know that it was pretty recent. The next sale went to Pamela and it was again J. Crew. And it was this 100% silk cap sleeve blue blouse in a size extra small. This, I believe, I picked up a long time ago and I got it at Goodwill. J. Crew tops just, I don't know, they don't go for a whole lot, especially like their blousey, like career pieces. They're just a lot harder for me to move. And this was a smaller size. And I had sent out an offer on this item for like $24. And she was like, can I get it for 50% off of the last offer you sent me? And then at this point I was like, fine, fine. Like I just want to get rid of it. That's fine. And that's why I sold it to her for $12. So I made $9.05. The next sale went to Blythe and it was this flying tomato girl next door lace moto jacket in a size large. This one sold for $14 because I had initially had it listed for $28 and I made $11.05. Another item that I've had for so long and like I said before, one of the things that I love about doing sales like this is yes, you will, you know, inevitably move some pieces that, you know, you just listed and you know that they would have sold for a decent amount had you not been running the sale, but it's worth it because you end up moving stuff like this that have been sitting in your closet forever. So you take the good with the bad. So I was totally happy with getting $11.05 on that, probably like doubled the amount that I paid for it, not making a lot of profit here, but it's old. I already took the time to like list it and share it and photograph it and all that stuff. So I'm happy to at least make my money back if not double it and it's fine. Patricia picked up this bundle of again, two older pieces and I'm so happy to see them go. And I still made a decent amount. So the first was this Micra Pack Now Lips Print and Pink Reversible Jacket in a size zero. What that means is it was a reversible jacket on one side it was pink, one side it had this fun print with like lips all over it. And I believe that on the pink side there was like a small stain. This came from the same mother of the mother of one of my students. So I've had it for over a year. So I was thrilled to move it. And the other item I did pick up, I want to say at that same local thrift store that no longer exists. And it was this new with tags, Lauren Ralph Lauren white blazer in a size small. I don't know why this sat around for so long, especially with it being new, but whatever it did. And I was able to finally get rid of those for $35 and I made $28 off of those, which, you know, like the micro pack now, that jacket, that one, I did not pay any money for up front. It was, you know, from the student's garage sale. And I did pay money for that Lauren Ralph Lauren blazer, but $28, I'm happy with that. And then on eBay on the 15th, I sold this pair of American Eagle coated black leggings in a size double zero. They were high rise. And when I say coated, they had like, they weren't leather or like faux leather. They just had this, yeah, weird coating over it. And I think it's like a pretty common thing to do on pants, especially, you know, with brands like American Eagle. So these sold for $13.99. That was my 50% off price of $28. And I did have to pay a little bit more for shipping. I had them pay $5 of shipping and I had to pay $5.70. So I ended up making $10.82. But I believe that that was a bins fine. So definitely still, you know, in the green with that. 
the next thing to sell on ebay was this rage against the machine fist graphic t-shirt in a size extra large this i got at the bins on that same trip as the american eagle jeans but on these like the bottom hem was coming undone just a little bit and obviously i like you know took pictures of it and i just closed that so they still sold for 13 dollars 99 that was 50 percent off of the asking price they did sell via promoted listings as well and so i had them pay for shipping and i made 12 dollars 26 off of that so that was great the next item to sell on ebay was this new with tags white house black market 100% silk sleeveless button up blouse in a size extra extra small this was given to me for free by a friend at church and i just got around to listing this i don't know what took me so long i think it was something that a student of mine had photographed so it sold for 50 percent off of the asking price so it sold for 17 dollars and i did have them pay for shipping so i ended up making 15 dollars 43 off of that which i'm thrilled by because even though it was a newer listing i have a feeling it would have sat around for a while and it was given to me for free so it was 15 dollars and 43 cents of pure profit which is awesome this next item on ebay i did have in my poshmark closet and ebay store for quite some time it was by the brand patagonia and sometimes i have a lot of luck selling patagonia dresses but i have two dresses of this same style that just like are not moving so i was happy to move this one it's the margot dress and it's a sleeveless dress this one had i believe a black and white print to it i could be totally wrong but off of my memory i think it was like this black and white print it was in a size small it sold for twelve dollars and 49 cents it did sell via promoted listings i did have them pay for shipping so i made eleven dollars and 65 cents the next thing to sell was this level 99 which is sometimes sold at anthropology but i don't think that this pair of pants were sold at anthropology and it was the lily pant and it was like in a skinny straight fit and it had like a railroad stripe pattern so it's like a vertical stripe up and down in a size 27 these i picked up at the local thrift store that is no longer in business so i've had these for a long time with very little interest on poshmark and i think i cross listed them over to ebay not that long ago but even on ebay like not a lot of attention no watchers or anything like that they sold for 9.99 i had them pay for shipping and i made seven dollars and 99 cents off of that sale not amazing i probably just made my money back if that so it is what it is and then debbie who was a viewer so debbie thank you so much she got this white house black market pinup style black and white polka dot skirt and it was really interesting because like on the back it had this really cute pleating detail and this was in a size double zero she picked this up for her daughter so debbie thank you so much again and she got it for eight dollars and 99 cents she did pay for shipping and so i ended up making eight dollars and five cents off of that the last thing to sell this day on ebay was this jay mclaughlin arlette blue ribbon turtleneck in a size medium this was my second time selling it on ebay the first time the buyer said that she just didn't like it so she returned it that was in last week's what sold video and i had sold originally for 40 dollars, and that's why between that and the tory birch purse that was $140 worth of returns. But both of those items resold this week. And this one sold for half the amount that it sold for the first time. But it is what it is. I'm just happy that, you know, it's going to a new home. And so this sold for $19.99. And I did have them pay for shipping. So I made $17.77 off of that. Hopefully second time is a charm and I don't get it returned to me again. And the person realizes what a steal they got with that turtleneck. And then finally, on February 16th, which was Sunday, this is the last day that that I'm gonna talk about in this video. I was still running my sale. So Denise got this new with tags, vegan leather black convertible backpack slash purse thing. And this is one of my boutique items. It is something that I pick up wholesale from my friend. She got it for $28 and I made $22 and 40 cents off of that. That is not leaving a lot of room for profit because you know those wholesale items definitely are a lot more than items that you would thrift at a thrift store or something like that. Um, so I was not thrilled to move this bag at 50% off, but that's what comes with the territory of putting your entire closet or your entire store on a 50% off sale. And I do have a lot more of those in both my Poshmark closet and eBay store if you're interested. They're really cool because you can wear them as a backpack or like over the shoulder. And for these like newest boutique items, I did model myself. I think that it's a really cool product and I do have some more in my closet. The next item I was thrilled with because someone just bought it outright at my full asking price. I think maybe they were just like searching on Google or something 
something and they saw the listing and they just, you know, created an account and bought it. So that was really exciting. It was this new with tags, Lululemon run beam long sleeve workout shirt in a size six. And they bought it for my full asking price of $44, which left me with $35 and 20 cents. And the more amazing thing about that is that that was given to me for free by a friend at church. And then the cherry on top was that someone made a bundle knowing that I was running, you know, this 50% off sale and this was in that bundle and they were offering me far less than 50% off of my asking price. And I was like, no, like I'm not going to go anything below 50% off of my asking price because 50% off is already a great deal. And they would like keep coming up like a couple dollars and I just wouldn't budge. And finally, like I just got sick and tired of it. I didn't decline, but I just left it alone and I didn't send a counter offer. And yeah, I just left it alone because I knew, especially with this item being in that bundle, I knew that this item would sell at least as part of the 50% off sale but then someone came and bought it full you know at my full asking price so that was just the cherry on top and I was so happy that that happened that's me being a little petty and that does happen when you run a sale like this you do get people who come out of the woodwork and are like offering you less than even that 50% off price I just simply don't budge and I don't decline either but I just keep offering that 50% off price and I do like say in the bundle like hey sorry like I just can't go below this because I'm already offering a great deal. And some people are like, okay, yeah, that's fine. And they will, you know, take your 50% off price. Some people just won't. And in that case, like I'm fine with losing that sale because I'm not trying to give my stuff away for free, you know, but it does happen and it is very frustrating just so that you're aware. The next bundle went to a viewer, Kaylin. So Kaylin, thank you so much. She got some great pieces. The first was this Max Studio gray alpaca blend cable knit cardigan, and it was open front in a size small. This was given to me by my mother-in-law. I think she had worn it and then she just didn't like it anymore, so she gave it to me. The next item was this pair of Banana Republic Aiden Chino pants in a size 33. These were a men's piece, and these, unfortunately, I realized when I went to go pull everything, I had already sold this item on eBay. And there were like a couple instances of that because I'm just like not awesome yet of like immediately deleting listings that sell on one platform off of the other and I need to get better about it. But this item had already sold. So when I realized that I reached out to Kaylin and I was like, I'm so sorry, you know, I can send you something else instead if you want, or we can cancel the transaction. I can send you a refund. Like we can do this so many different ways. She ended up picking out this athleta dress and it was the same price. And I will show that here as well. It was this purple purple dress. I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it was, you know, just a really nice dress that I thought would move faster than it did as well, but it didn't. So Kaylin got it in place of those pants, but I was really sad to, you know, disappoint her because she said they were going to be for her husband. They were in his size and they would have been perfect, but I just didn't have them anymore. So, you know, when I run into that situation, which happens far more frequently than it should. So I'm, like I said, trying to get better about it. I just own up to my mistake and I try to offer them an array of just like different possible solutions. So you know, Kaylin decided that she would substitute those pants with something else in my closet. So I'm glad that we were able to come to an agreement. The next item that she got was this pair of Lululemon black and lavender cropped leggings in a size four. These were given to me for free by the same friend that gave me that other Lululemon long sleeve shirt. So that's pure profit. And these were in a size four. I could not find the style name to these either. So I just put them on Poshmark as cropped leggings, you know, blue, black, and lavender, whatever. The next thing in her bundle was this American Eagle soft and sexy swing turtleneck in this really pretty purple color, and it was in a size medium. This I got at my latest Plato's Closet 90% off clearance haul, so that moved pretty quickly. And then the final thing was this loft teal wool blend side split sweater in a size large, and that came from my friend Keto. So those items sold to Kaylin for $66, and I made $52.80. So Kaylin, thank you so much much and I hope you love everything including that athleta dress. The next item was another full price sale like it just this person just saw it in my closet didn't know that I was running a sale and they got it at my full asking price and so I was thrilled and it was this Joseph about brown leather jacket I had it listed for $60. He bought it for $60, so I made $48. That one, my mother-in-law thrifted at a Goodwill for me, and she was like, if it doesn't sell, I'm going to make a handbag out of it. I was like, okay. <laughs> and it did sit in my closet for quite some time, but it did finally sell for my full asking price, so that was super exciting. And then Carolina, or Carolina, I'm not sure how to say your name. I'm so sorry. She got these four 
items from my four for $25 sale. The first was this new with tags, Lula Row Julia gray color blocked dress in a size extra small. I've had this forever. I definitely got it at like a Goodwill or something a long time ago. The next item was this new with tags, loft white button up short sleeve shirt in a size too petite. This was actually from a coworker of mine. And I did list this during my challenge with Amber from Amber Resells. The next item was this BCBG Max Azria floral v-neck short sleeve top. This one had like a really pretty floral print to it as a v-neck, but this I believe had some pilling along the neckline. And I had gotten this for free from a friend at church. So I, you know, did not care about putting it in my four for $25 sale. That was like a no brainer to me. And the final item was this Talbot wool blend flat front wide leg career wear pants. I said that they were a size two because they were like a vintage size eight. And when I did the measurements, it was like 12 inches for the waist and they were not like stretchy at all. Like there was no give, it was 12 inches across or like a 24 inch waist. So I was like, these are definitely not a size eight for today's woman. So I listed them as a size two. I don't know what you guys do for vintage stuff. Let me know in the comment section down below, but I just didn't feel comfortable listing them as a size eight because I knew that there was no way that they would fit someone who wears a size eight today. So those sold for $25. I made $20 off of those four items. And I was happy with that because I had had most of those items for a while or they were items that just I didn't feel like could command a higher, you know, asking price for whatever reason. So I was happy with that sale. I also sold to Audrey this Michigan University Navy full zip up hoodie in a size large. This sold literally within like hours of me listing it. I had it listed for $18, but I gave it to her for the 50% off price, which was $9. So I made $6.05. I don't know where that came from. Like it was just like in my death pile, like at the end of it. And so I just, you know, finally got around to listing it. It was a quick $6 and five cents. So wherever it came from, I, yeah, I'm happy to make that money that fast. And then Jamie got this bundle of three items. The first was this coach baby blue leather canvas shoulder bag. And that is like the final bag from that lot of bags that I got from my coworker of all those coach bags. So I'm so happy to just be done with those bags. So Jamie, thank you so much for taking that off my hands. I think it's really cute. It just, you know, I've had it for a while. She also got this item that was in my four for $25 sale. And it's this Oscar de la Renta brown polka dot tie. I think my husband found that at like a Salvation Army randomly when we went together. It was really cute. It was, you know, it's a great brand, just didn't get any attention. So I put it in my four for $25 sale. I think I put all of my ties in my four for $25 sale. And then the final thing that Jamie picked up was this pair of Sean John leather brown high top sneakers in a size 12. There were a host of issues with this pair of shoes, but they were from my student's garage sale from a long time ago. So I was just happy to see them move, which is why they were in my four for $25 sale. So she got those items for $37 and I made $29.60 off of that bundle. And then the final item to sell was this plus size halter leaf print swimsuit top. And it was like a modest top, you know, it was like full length and kind of like came out at the, it was almost like an A-line top. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. But it was in a size 6L, which is why I got it in the first place. I believe I got it in a fill a bag sale at the old thrift store that I keep talking about in this video because that's how old some of these items are. Like they come from a thrift store that doesn't even exist anymore. So that's all for $9 and I made $6.05 off of that. And then on eBay, the first was a bundle sale. And I don't know how to say her name and she is a viewer. So it was like, I'm going to butcher it. I'll just write it out here. And she got a good number of stuff. And, you know, we were trying to figure out like, how do we do this? Cause I don't really know how to do bundles on eBay, but what we ended up doing was I just had her buy everything individually, but then I put everything in one box, combined shipping, and I just paid her the difference via PayPal. If you do it some other way, please let me know how you do it. But that's how I did it. So she got this Disney Tsum Tsum. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Is this like a show? I just know they're like characters from Disney, but this Tsum Tsum graphic burnout t-shirt in a youth extra large and that one I did get for free from a friend at church 
The next item was this pair of Under Armour pink capri leggings in a size medium. I guess that they were a size medium because the size tag had been ripped out, but I got that at like this local thrift store that I like to go to every once in a while. It's very hit or miss. And then also she got this olive green long sleeve floral elastic waist dress in a size extra large. This was unbranded, but it was really cute. It kind of looked like a boutique brand. This was from Keto. The next item that she got was this Deadstock Vintage Mickey Incorporated graphic sweater with like a big Mickey on the front in a size medium slash large. This was sold at a Kmart a long time ago for $14.99 and I had picked it up at a Goodwill not too long ago. And then finally she got this Massimo Chevron print mint dress it's just from target and it was something that i had on auction but she was like you know i'm interested in this dress so i went ahead and took it off of auction and sold it to her so those items sold for a total of 49 dollars and 74 cents and i had her like i said pay for shipping but then i refunded her like I think it was like $11 or $9 for shipping. I don't remember exactly off the top of my head. I just remember I ended up making $38.62 off of all one, two, three, four, five of those items. A lot of those were things that were either given to me for free or things that I had for a decent amount of time. So not a lot of profit, but still like it went to a great new home and I was able to move out some older pieces. So I was happy with that. The next item to sell on eBay as a result of my 50% off sale was this Under Armour purple long sleeve shirt and it had like the heat gear technology and it was a size medium. This sold for $8.99 via promoted listings and after having them pay for shipping, I made $7.92 off of that. That was given to me for free from a friend at church, so $7.92 of pure profit, which is always fun. The next item was, again, they offered me less than then 50% off of my asking price, but I didn't even care because I just wanted it gone. It was this Michael by Michael Kors pink cap sleeve shirt in a size extra large. She offered me $6. I don't know what the half off price would have been. And I ended up making $2.29 off of it because I didn't realize that I also had free shipping on this thing. But at this point, I just wanted it gone. I'd gotten it for free and it had been returned to me once before because the person said that it didn't match her hair. I don't, I don't know. Like, there are so many interesting people out there in the world. And so I know I said earlier that I was like not willing to go less than 50%, but if it was something that I just wanted gone, like this item, I was happy to go less than 50% off. I was not okay with going less than 50% off on that brand new long sleeve Lululemon shirt. Like I knew that I would be able to sell it even if I had to after the sale for far more than 50% off of its asking price. So I definitely wasn't gonna go below 50% on that. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. The next thing to sell was this Joie Maru, that was the name of like the blouse, 100% silk pleated v-neck blouse in this really pretty like reddish orange color in a size extra small. This sold for $19.99 and after they paid for shipping, I made $17.82 off of that. I got this at that consignment sale that I talked about near my kid's gymnastics place. And yeah, I mean, I was pretty happy with that. I know a lot of people have a hard time moving joie, so to get $17.82 for that, I was happy with it. And the last thing to sell was this Michael, Michael Kors black and white striped long sleeve shirt in a size large. This sold for $8.99. And after they paid for shipping, I made $7.55 off of that. I got this for free, so that's pure profit, and I am totally excited about that. So, Let's get into what I made for the week because this is the exciting part, right? Oh my gosh, where's my information on this? The, for the entire week, I made a total on Poshmark of $1,022.34. On eBay, I made a total of $485.37. And on Mercari, I made a total of $16.53. So all of that put together, I made $1,524.24 in one week across those three platforms. That is my total, that's my net sale. So that's after you take out shipping discounts, that's after you take out all of the fees, that's what I get to put in my bank account. That does not account for my cost of goods, but my cost of goods generally is really low. So my gross sales were probably around like $2,000 or something like that. But $1,500 in one week, that is ridiculous. Like, 
I'm astounded. And that's far more than I've ever made in one week. So I was just ecstatic. So if you guys shopped my sales, thank you so much. Like I know I've been saying thank you like over and over again, but like it boggles my mind that you would support me in that way, that you're even here like watching this video. I'm just so beyond thankful. So it was a wonderful week. This present week that we're in right now is not like as amazing and I'm not expecting it to be because I'm not running any kind of sale. I've not been paying a lot of attention to, you know, either my Poshmark closet or eBay store, but I'm just so thankful that I can say that I had a week like this and it's amazing. So thank you guys so much. I will have a video coming out, probably not this week. I don't think I can squeeze it in, but probably next week about like what I did to make these sales happen. And I will share that with you in an upcoming video. So make sure that you have subscribed to this channel if you haven't already. And if you like this video, then please make sure that you hit that like button, give it a thumbs up before you exit out, before you get out of here. And as always, thank you for hanging out and I will see you in the next one. Bye.